there were a lot of people who were um, telling me that I had to go the more traditional route, you know, have slices and have a phone number and all that stuff. Luckily, I have other close friends who are like, why don't you just do exactly what you want? I just sort of listened to that. We're at Pizzeria Badia on the corner of Girard Avenue and Shackamax and Street in Philadelphia. What's the difference that makes it worth waiting two hours in line for here? I don't know if I would wait two hours. <laughs> um, the difference is the quality of the ingredients. You know, it took me a long time to source the old gold cheese or even the Leone mozzarella. Those things all took some time to figure out what I thought tasted the best. All right, Joe, so it's 9.30 in the morning on a Wednesday. What's the first thing you do? Just come in, make sure everything's ready to go, flour the counter, and start the dough for the day. Yesterday morning, I came in and made this dough. You said 40 pounds? It's exactly 40, and yeah, then for 40 a, doughs. So there's a pound of dough in each pizza? That's correct. Okay. Why do you make the dough the day before? It's sort of, I guess, the only way to coax out the good flavor of the grain is with time. You can't really cheat it. It's just really a simple recipe, uh, really nice organic flour, uh, use a, a fresh cake yeast, water, sea salt, a little sugar, and a little extra virgin olive oil. I think the overriding theme here is making good pizza is not an insurmountable thing, it's just people don't want to put in the time. Right. Nobody ever really taught me how to do it, I just sort of do it. So why don't you use imported San Marzano tomatoes? I mean, they grow great tomatoes right in New Jersey that I, that I really like, so I think it makes the most sense to use those tomatoes. I don't really follow any of that pizza dogma. What is that dogma? What are you talking about? San Marzano tomatoes, the zero, zero flour, 900 degrees. And I've also found that most of the best pizza places don't follow that either. Two cans of tomatoes and then... A bunch of garlic, sea salt, and extra virgin olive oil. That's it? Yeah. These doughs are alive and ready to go. You can see how ready that is with all those little bubbles. First of all, you want to leave the crust alone. You don't want to push it down too much because it won't rise naturally. Then I'll top it with the tomato sauce, fresh mozzarella, an aged mozzarella, and then it goes straight into the oven. Yeah, you know it's done when you can hear it. If the pizza comes out and you can't hear it crack underneath the cutter, it's probably not cooked properly. I'm gonna cut the pizza, dress it with a little Sicilian oregano, some old gold cheese, and then finish it with some extra virgin olive oil. That's it. All the places that I sort of felt something about in a deeper sense were all, you know, one person making the pizza. There's something inside of me that needs to make the pizzas the way that I think that they should be made. I mean, the thing is, I'm not really doing anything special. I'm just sort of doing it the right way.